So, you like monitor, sir? You like monitor, sir? So, this, this is the MacBook Pro, M1 MacBook Pro, M1 Pro MacBook Pro that I've been using for the past 8 months, 9 months, somewhere around there. And I edit videos using this laptop because the M1 Pro chip is just so efficient and powerful. But editing videos on the laptop sucks because you don't have enough screen. So, that's why we have this. The Mobile Pixels Duex Plus MP and this thing is kind of reminiscent of the Razer stolen prototype thing from like many years ago. It so is. it attaches to the back of the laptop and then it slides out to give you another monitor. So in other words, because nowadays we have a lot of portable monitors in the market and this one is attaches to your laptop directly. directly. And instead of you have another lap, I mean the monitor at on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Actually it will save space, especially if you are in those coffee shops with small ass round table. Yeah. Yeah, this one would be perfect for those kind of situations. So today's video, I'm gonna attach it to this MacBook Pro. <laughs> Let's do it. So the box is fairly simple. As you can see, the X Plus at the back here, we have some other pictures on why you should get this kind of monitor some specs at the bottom i'm gonna show you the website instead they have a few different versions 2x lite 2x plus and then one more is 2x max i'll leave you all the details on the screen okay uh, essentially that means different sizes so this one is the 13.3 inch version uh, you can also get it in different bundles so there is a productivity bundle monitor only or the I forgot what's the last name, they got three bundles but essentially each of them is with different types of stuff included. There's one with a kickstand if you want to use this as a dedicated portable monitor instead of sticking it behind your laptop as well. Which means you can get two with the price of one. Oh, wow, that's... Technically, that's the whole idea. Yeah, that, that's a very good idea. You can... I mean, depending on what kind of use case, right? Mm -hmm. Either you want to use with your laptop or smartphone tablets oh you can yeah and then especially if you've got a kickstand you can just rip it out of your laptop lend it to someone else easy okay so the first thing that you're gonna see is this Set this is guy. important i think they have presented it in a very effective way because once you open the box big font size setup guide you cannot avoid this if you screw up it's on you yeah. because they already told you how you should attach this. Uh, if you don't want to read this, then of course you can scan the QR code for the video, of course, or visit the link. They also have a written version on their website with these steps. I'm gonna put it here. This is the Duex Plus itself. So you can see the entire construction is uh, basic. not very basic. They actually have a lot of good plan. mechanisms. Ah, yes. The, the thought that goes behind this thing is amazing. Then, this template, you need to read this. Do not use template if the monitor is brand new out of the box. This is for second time uses, second okay. time applications. So nice. again, leave this aside. Um, instruction manual and extra adhesive for the magnets here. I'm not gonna touch this as well. And then you got the cable. This is a very nice cable. So it's Nice and thick. Nice and thick. And then you got a one side is uh, angle, 90 degrees angle cable yeah. connector. This one plugs into the monitor. Second part here is a type A, but you can detach it to become a type C. One thing you need to keep note of is that your laptop, even if you have type C, you need to make sure it supports display port output. output. A lot of laptops have type C, but they don't support that protocol. So do double check. We know for a fact that MacBook Pros have that feature, so no problems. I'm gonna leave this aside but I'm gonna need the yellow paper instructions yes because one step is very important number one is to clean the surface of your laptop with an alcohol pad I'm gonna need alcohol pad <laughs> okay and then the second one is to push all the magnets towards the monitor side what it means monitor side is that where the monitor slides out so okay I see. yeah then second one just remove all of the stickers stick on it blah 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 then you should be able to use it right away. So, I have a question though, like, 
Mm. Would you need to align the monitor in certain way so that it doesn't get in the way when you like slide the monitor out? That's where the brilliance of this design comes in. So you see, this is where the monitor slides out. So the monitor side is this side. I'm gonna push all the magnets to this side. And then place it back. But because I am preferring my external monitor to be on my left side, I'll do it like this. Okay, then we'll use the alcohol wipes. Wow, you can see the change in color. Is my laptop that dirty? From my angle, yes. <laughs> Screw you. Then now it is time to peel off the adhesive. They got a really nice 3M double-sided yeah, with tape tabs. kind of stuff. Oh, if you want to reapply later, don't worry, they also have adhesive inside the box. Additional? Yes. Spare adhesives? Yes, the, the little accessories box, those are extra adhesive. Oh, so, that's why they provide a template in case. Yes. Then now this oh, this is a bit difficult to align because it is as big as the MacBook. This is the part where this seems good, so I'm gonna press down and then slide out a bit. And there we go. This should be okay. And you know why the reason I say you need to push all the magnets to one side and it's a brilliant idea? It's because you have some leeway. If you take it out like this, you can still push the monitor. Oh! So that's where the tracks of the magnets come into play. Oh! Wow. This is a brilliant mechanism. This is a brilliant idea because they have no idea like how thick. Yeah, your laptop's like, bezel might be very yeah, thick. And what? Okay, okay. So the they still can like hide the entire thing back. Yes. So now what we do is to slide it out. We can slide out some more. Then we can make space for the monitor to turn in. And then we can plug in the cable. Oh yeah, there's two type C ports on this monitor. So if you want to use it for your external monitor and with your phone, then you can plug in one to the charger, one to your phone, so you can charge your phone and use the monitor at the same time. Okay, so what's the resolution of this panel? 1080p. So it's a full HD panel? Yes. So there you go, this is the entire setup. Wow. Then, not enough. Oh, actually the, the monitor will go to sleep if you like slide it in. Oh, it did? Yeah, it did. Okay, good to know. And then the OSD menu at the back here, you got three buttons. So select up and down, that's it. OSD menu works really simple. I'm going to show you some B-roll on the screen here. And as for the color accuracy and brightness, it is not really that good, but that is okay because an external monitor like this is meant to provide you more wow. space to view stuff. Yeah, more display asset, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, you, you and even if you edit, right, you don't do your color calibration on this portable monitor. It's just meant for you to view your files, drag in stuff for reference. Yes. Yeah. I think for a portable monitor, what really matters is how useful it is as a secondary display. How not, convenient it is to yeah, set up. Not because of or how accurate the colors and everything. So for the price of this thing, the Duex Plus, I'm really liking this thing. <laughs> okay, promotion right now. It goes for 400 USD, standard price, but currently promotion, it is 25% off 300 USD. I think it is very competitive price, especially nowadays we can see this kind of monitors, portable monitors going for like about 1,000, 500 range ringgit Malaysia, yeah, which, which is, is about like 350 to 400, 350 USD. Yes, so I would say if you include shipping and whatnot, yeah, this is a really good portable monitor. The design is surprisingly well thought out. As you can see here, the magnets really do provide you a track to slide the monitor even further. Yeah, it accommodates all your weird laptop bezels and whatnot. Maybe just one thing to take note of. Don't expect 
this monitor to be on par with something like the MacBook Pro 14 display because definitely not those display are on entirely different level mini LED mini LED on top of that so if you expect this kind of external monitors to have let's say mini LEDs and everything else the price is going to be astronomically, astronomically high. <laughs> high at least double of that oh I so, should also mention a few more things so OSD menu you can also turn on the G sensor accelerometer which is why you can use it in left or right side oh okay okay so you don't have to do any adjustment in the no need it's yeah. automatic yeah it's automatic brilliant 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 design so that's it if you have any questions about this thing leave them down in the comment section below i am surely gonna like this thing so much because uh imagine if you're in an airplane don't have enough space you can just leave it like this this is amazing okay convenient